CDC is warning that a dangerous parasitic illness is becoming a bigger threat in the United States. In a recent report, the agency said Chagas disease should be reclassified as endemic in the U.S., meaning that it has a constant presence here. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain how it's spread and what makes it so concerning. Well, Tyron Kimberly, Chagas is spread by so-called kissing bugs. They're not generally this big. Now, they're called that because they have a tendency to bite humans in the face. The distinctive insects are about the size of a penny with a long, flat body. Now, experts say about half of the bugs actually carry the dangerous parasite. Now, while kissing bugs are most often found in Latin America, as temperatures have warmed, well, they've spread north. They're called kissing bugs, and these insects carry a parasite that can cause Chagas disease. Experts say this potentially deadly condition is here to stay in the U.S. Chagas disease is spread when the feces of an infected kissing bug enters a bite or wound or gets into a person's eyes, nose, or mouth. Eight million people are believed to have this disease globally, including an estimated 280,000 in the U.S. The CDC says those who have it may not know it. There are now 32 states where kissing bugs have been detected, including Ohio and Indiana, just to our south. At least eight states have reported human infections shown here in the brighter red. Early stage symptoms can be mild or go unnoticed, but can include fever, fatigue, body aches, headache, rash, loss of appetite, diarrhea, vomiting, and the swelling of an eyelid. If left untreated, it can lead to digestive problems like an enlarged esophagus or colon and heart problems, including an enlarged heart, heart failure, altered heart rate or rhythm, or even sudden death. Chagas is caused by a parasite, and antiparasitic treatments are effective if taken early. Now, there are no drugs or vaccines to prevent Chagas disease, so the best thing to do is to limit contact with kissing bugs. Now, they are mostly active at dusk or overnight, so experts really recommend taking steps to keep these bugs out of your house, like sealing any cracks or gaps and using screens on windows and doors. Now, the picture you just showed of the kissing bug, it looks a lot like other bugs that I've seen mm -hmm. around here. How do, how do you even know the difference? Yeah, so locally, actually, the, the kissing bug looks very similar to the, the stink sti bug. Exactly. <laughs> That's what jumps thinking. to mind. <laughs> now, there are actually some differences in the coloring and the body shape. Kissing bugs actually have a little bit of red to them, and they're shaped a little bit differently. But honestly, I'm not really interested in getting up that close to them <laughs> to tell the difference. The good news, I will say, is kissing bugs are not common in Michigan. And realistically, you should just remove the bug regardless. You shouldn't squish them, by the way. Oh. Either stink bugs or kissing bugs. Stink yeah. bugs because they're stinky. Yeah. Kissing bugs because they can actually release chagas. Oh, Jeez. Okay, but the good thing is they're not. They're not in, in Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Right. Hopefully, it stays that way. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs>